and Cadiz in our song. All right. Game one. Catch one. This hand is quite bad. Uh, my opponent chose to play first, which means that I'm going to mulligan. If I were on the play, I might keep it just because I have uh, an early beater and I have, yeah, that would be the only reason. Lavax is almost like taking a mulligan because it doesn't do anything in the early game. So, six cards, and this is a lot better. I'm going to ship this back. Let's just hope that we have got a turn 1 play or turn 2 play, which can only take one damage. No, nothing yet. Uh, so, I will be playing the Colas first. And then I will be playing the Swinger. Oh, he's going back as well. And that's quite a good card. It would have uh, the what's it called? Restless. Uh, the one with buyback is better, but it's decent. Okay, cycling for plants. And did he get there? Colos to the rescue. Okay. Uh, he double F6, I think. Unfortunate for him, but I'll take it. Let's see if he's got anything to finish off my gardener. There are some counter spells. Okay. He's going to show me a send. Something else there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd much rather have him counter the, the Goblin Gardener than my Heater Swinger or my Shifts and Brace. I might play Shifts and Brace next turn. Uh, I'm not sure, but I might. That was no. Um, let's see here. Uh, so I do. No, I'm just. He's got the same open, so it's worthless to pay. Something with dice. Uh, that that would be countered right away. Does it have another scent? No, no other scent this time. He might rescind though. No. And here is squirming mass. Don't care about that. I am going to shower it and then um, let's see here. I let him choose between Shift and Brace and Parch because shower does the most, it both kills this guy and uh, deals damage to him. And I will play Shivers and Brace this turn on my Wild Colos to really, unless he picks it, of course, but I don't think that he'll pick my Shivers and Brace. No. <coughs> so, shiving up the Colos. I think that should be, or not. I could just let's see here. 
yeah, if I do this, he'll have some trouble playing spells overall. And I think that's what I want to. <laughs> I want to keep him on his back feet, forced to play things. Uh, sorry about that, but a phone call. Um, as you can see, my opponent and I have traded blows. He's got a skittering horror in play, which um, might turn out to be troublesome, but I've got him on a hopefully shorter clock than he's got me. Uh, yeah, you can swap anything you'd like, especially since you can't cast it anyways. Um, I'm hoping to reach, uh, to be able to play, uh, Scent of Cinders and kill one of his guys. We'll see, uh, what he plays. Or rather, I kill him next time. What am, what am I thinking about? I kill him with, uh, with my flying hulking over next time. Uh, I was thinking that I didn't have enough mana to do it, but since I actually got to the 6th last turn, I do. Um, well, I haven't drawn too many of my uh, burn spells against them, but it seems like it might be doable anyways. Fifteen Jain uh, won't save your buddy. I don't know what he's looking for, but he's... yeah. That's what Sheep's Embrace d does. Especially if this was even against a uh, black and blue deck, which should have the most ways of dealing with a creature overall. So yeah, first game.